Ooh, actually, this doesn't sound the healthiest. It's gonna be difficult. Whoa. In today's video, I'm going to tell you something about a water pump and the N42 engines. What's up, guys? My name is Camille and Going forward, this video applies not only to N42 engines, but also very similar N46 engines. It's very hard to notice the difference. Uh, 1.8, 2 liter, everything works the same. Let's talk about water pump. Water pump is obviously a pump that is pumping water through your engine and uh, all the heater lines, hoses. This pump is sometimes broken, leaking or something like that and you need to replace it. And in E46, in N42 engines, N46, the water pump is connected to a power steering pump. Now to replace it, first thing you need to do is drain your cooling system. Everything has to go. Just so you don't make a lot of mess, BMW made a cool plug in the radiator that you just unbolt and everything goes down in a very small good stream um, and to make it a little bit faster you have to uh, unbolt the filler cap to the reservoir and this engine water pump is located right under the exhaust uh, not actually under the exhaust but uh, below the head and um, right here I'm going to show you this pulley right here is connected to power steering pump and this pump is connected uh, with the shaft to the water pump. This means that to replace your water pump you not only need to drain the cooling system but also power steering system. And to do that you just unbolt every hose that is connected there. And right now I'm going to try to show you where they are located. So right here you have an upper power steering uh, pump hose connected and you need to unbolt this hose take it off it's gonna drain then ah uh, it's very difficult to show but see this hose right here it's going up it also is connected to power steering pump and you also have to take it off now this here is tempered the thermostat housing so we have a hose connected from this housing to the head we can unbolt it either here or there and um, then there's this lower hose it's a big one right here which also has to be disconnected and one more right there so after you disconnect all those hoses, you're gonna make a lot of mess. So make sure to have a cardboard under the car so you don't destroy your floors and try to catch as much as you can. Um, I'm not going to do that because in my case, water pump works very well, so I don't need to replace it, but I really wanna show you because I had a comment that was asking for it. Now, I know I said that I'm not taking my uh, pump out, but I have a spare one just to show you how it works. This is my spare power steering and water pump. And as you can see right here, we have a power steering hose that uh, I called an upper one. And right here we have a lower one that you have to disconnect from the power steering. It sits like this in the engine bay, more or less. Uh, now right here you have your thermostat housing. It's connected with four bolts. You can take it off, like I said, or you can leave it and take it out as one unit. The whole thing is connected to the engine with four bolts right here. So it's, it's impossible to put the camera there so I could show you. That's why I have a spare one and I'm showing it to you, to you right here. The whole thing just slides out. It's, it has a, a gasket right here, but Apart from the bolts, that's the only thing that is going to hold the, the, this unit in the car. Let's pretend that we have this unit out and right now I'm going to show you how to disassemble it to replace only power steering. Uh, no, <laughs> only water pump. And one thing that I didn't say and we could do is while everything is connected in the engine, um, loosen the bolts that are holding the pulley because right now it's gonna be very difficult for me it's gonna be very difficult but okay let's see Whoa. okay 
Okay. Difficult doesn't mean impossible. This is bad method. I broke a pulley right here, a little bit. It's a hard plastic to be honest and it worked very well, but it broke anyway. So um, I, I, I'm not the most gentle person, but I don't know the other way. Now that we have the pulley out, there are two bolts right here and one here, right here um, that we have to take off. This is our water pump without a power steering pump. One more thing, uh, this might not be included in the set, so buy it, uh, so take it off. Try to change the O-rings right here. Just change the whole thing. Assembly is the, the opposite of this assembly, so you simply get a, your new water pump, put it on the unit right there and bolt it on. That's it. Then you put it in the car and add the pulley. Now if you need to change your power steering, the whole process is the same. Just right now when you have this off, you have to unbolt two more bolts and the power steering pump will come off this bracket. Then put in the one in it. If you put everything back together, bleeding process. Now before you start the car to bleed cooling system and power steering system, make sure to put as much fluid as both systems possibly can take. So put, uh, just top up, top off the reservoir for the cooling system. Do the same with the power steering. Now turn your key to ignition, then electric pump, electric water pump in E46 uh, will, Start, it will suck some of the fluid, then you have to top it off with more fluid, then you start the car. And I would go for power steering fluid first, cause I don't know why. And to bleed it correctly, you just turn it all the way to left or right, then to the other side, do it a couple of more times and just top up the fluid, Re repeat the like, changing, uh, repeat turning left and right all the way, remember all the way, and then see if it still needs more fluid. If yes, then add, check again, that's it. For the cooling system, you top the reservoir with the fluid, and then you go for the bleeding bolts, and or valves, I don't know, bleeding, bleeding bolts or valves. And in case of N42 engine, and I think N46 is almost identical, it should have them in the same place. So right here, uh, you have one, and right here you have the second one. It's a little bit hidden. Uh, you unbolt them only a little bit, uh, both of them, and you keep adding fluid until it comes out from this bleeding bolt. The bottom one should leak fluid first, so you just close the valve and try it few seconds later or even at the same time it's the upper one will have will also start um, leaking fluid so then you close it top the cooling system with the fluid and you're basically done so then you go for a drive make sure the car goes to operating temp don't go far come back try to bleed it again I always try to bleed it twice just to be sure and just to be safe because if it overheats, it's not a good thing. So, <clears throat> come on, gotcha. Hopefully I edited this video so it's short and has a good knowledge.
if you need it. And if you have any more questions regarding the water pump, the power string pump in E46, N42, N46, let me know. I can still take it apart by sockets or something if you want to uh, see the inside of it. And we can make a part two of this video so we can investigate it further. So that would be it. If you have more questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.